Good morning, everyone. Welcome to this time of children in worship. I'm here in the worship center on this fifth Sunday of Easter. We can see on our church calendar that we are on our white Sundays, our fifth Sunday of Easter. Welcome to the worship center. Wherever you are is the worship center. And this is our special place to be with God. And in this place, we have all the time that we need. So we don't have to hurry. This is our special place to be with God. We can walk more slowly. We can talk more softly because someone might be talking with God and we wouldn't want to disturb them. This is our special place to be with God. And here we hear stories from God. We sing to God. We pray to God. We listen to God. So thank you for being in here for this time of worship. I hope you're gathered around with your family. Thank you for being here. As we gather ourselves, we greet one another with our Easter greeting since we're still in this time of, of Easter. So let's greet one another. Alleluia! The Lord is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia! And remember that one way that we can talk to God is by singing. So let's sing to God now. Let's sing, God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. God's so good to me. God loves me so. God loves me so. God loves me so. God's so good to me. Now it's time to hear one of God's stories. And God asks us to become quiet inside so that we can hear God speaking to us through these stories. So now let's sing to God the words that God says to us in Psalm 46. Be still and know that I am God. 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 Now, we're ready to hear one of God's stories. The story of the Good Shepherd and the Wolf. Hmm. I wonder if this is a parable. It might be. Parables are very precious, like gold. And this box is gold. This looks like a present. Well, parables are like presents. They've already been given to us. We can't buy them or take them or steal them. They're already ours. There's another reason this might be a parable. It has a lid. And sometimes parables seem to have lids on them. But when you lift the lid of a parable, there's something very precious inside. I know. Let's take the lid off and see if this is a parable. wonder what this could be. It's very big and green. It's soft and warm. I wonder what could be so green. Yes, it could be grass or a bush or a tree. Perhaps it could be a large green meadow. Maybe there's something else that could help us. There's this. Huh. It's so blue and cool. I wonder what it might be. It could be water or a piece of the sky or a mirror. Let's see what else we have. Oh, these are very dark. There seems to be no light in them at all. I 
I wonder what these are. I wonder if there's more. I wonder what this could be. Hmm. If I place it here, it looks like a road. And this could be the ending. And this is the end. Or maybe this is the beginning. And this is the end. Oh, look. If I add another one, maybe the road is in between. And this is the beginning. And this is the end. Or this is the beginning. And this is the end. Oh, look. There are more. I can add more and more and more. This place is getting stronger and I wonder what it is. It could be a log cabin. It could be a corral. It has an inside and an outside, but I think there needs to be a way to get out and a way to go in. I could make a gate. I wonder who lives here. Here are some sheep. Well, if sheep live in this place, then it must be a sheepfold. It is called a sheepfold because the sheep are folded safely inside. Once there was someone who said such amazing things and did such wonderful things that people began to follow him, but they didn't know who he was. So one day they simply had to ask him. And he said, I am the good shepherd and I know each one of my sheep by name. And they know the sound of my voice. So when I call my sheep from the sheepfold, they follow me. I walk in front of the sheep to show them the way. I show them the way to the good green grass. I show them the way to the cool, clear, still water. And when there are places of danger, I show them the way to pass through. To the other side. I count each one of my sheep as they go inside. <clears throat> and if any of them is missing, I would go anywhere to look 
for the lost sheep through the green grass by the still water calling my sheep by name even in places of danger and when i find the lost sheep i carry it home even if it is very heavy even if i am very tired When all of my sheep are safe inside, I am so happy, but I can't be happy all by myself. So I call all my friends and we have a great feast. This is the ordinary shepherd. When the ordinary shepherd takes the sheep from the sheepfold, the ordinary shepherd does not walk in front of the sheep to show them the way. So the sheep wander and scatter. And when the wolf comes, The ordinary shepherd runs away. But the good shepherd stands between the wolf and the sheep and gives his life for the sheep so the sheep can return safely home. Now that we've heard this story, I'd love to wonder together with you about it. I wonder if the sheep have names. I wonder if the sheep are happy in this place. I wonder how many sheep could really live in this place. I wonder if you've ever had to go through places of danger, or maybe if you've ever been lost and then you've been found. I wonder what that felt like for you. I wonder if the wolf has ever been close to you. I wonder if you've ever heard the Good Shepherd say your name. I wonder where this place might really be. And I wonder where this whole place might really be. This story gives us lots to wonder about, so I invite you to pause the video and continue wondering together about this story, but then come back and finish worshiping together. The story that we just heard is in the Bible. As we read our Bible, we light our Christ candle to remind us that Christ is with us as we hear the word of God. You can read along with me in your Bible. Today we're in the Gospel of John. Remember, there are four Gospels in the New Testament. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And today we're in the Gospel of John, chapter 11. So the big number 11. And we're actually going to start at verse 11. So chapter 11, verse 11. Listen now for the word of the Lord. 
I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand is not the shepherd who owns the sheep. So when he sees the wolf coming, he leaves the sheep and runs away. Then the wolf attacks the flock and scatters it. The man runs away because he is a hired hand and cares nothing for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep and my sheep know me. Just as the father knows me and I know the father and I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that are not of this sheep pen. I must bring them also. They too will listen to my voice and there shall be one flock and one shepherd. Friends, this is the word of the Lord and we all say thanks be to God. Now I invite you to pray with me. You can pray the prayer that I pray, or you're welcome to pause the video and pray together with your family. Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you that you are a shepherd for us, that you care for us like a shepherd cares for sheep. Thank you for loving us that way. We thank you, God, for those who care for us, we pray for those who need your special care today. We pray, God, that we would see those in our lives who need care this week. Help us, Lord, to love them well. May we share your love this week, Lord. In your son's name we pray. Amen. Now I'm going to change the light. Look, now the light's all in one place, but I'm going to change the light so that it can be in many places all at the same time. Look, now the light of Christ can be in many places all at once, in every time, in every place. And now, friends, it's time for our benediction, our way of saying goodbye to one another and giving each other a blessing. So I'll give you a blessing, and I invite you to pause the video, and whoever you're worshiping with, I invite you to give them a blessing too. Friends, may the Lord bless you and keep you. And now it's time for our sending song. In this song, we're reminded that we are called to leave wherever we are out in peace, that God calls us to go out with peace. So let's sing together. Go now in peace, go now in peace. May the love of God surround you everywhere, everywhere you may go. Friends, thank you for joining me for this time of worship. I hope you have a great, great week. Thanks for being here.